So the first book, Peg and Cat, The Eid al-Adha Adventure by Jennifer Oxley and Billy Aronson. Can I put it on the floor? Can I put it on the floor? Okay. Thank you. Kind of talk. Sorry. All right. Bismillah. Peg and Kat were visiting their friends, Yasmina and Amir, during a very special holiday. Whoops. It was Eid al-Adha, a holiday Yasmina and Amir celebrated every year. Peg and Kat had never even heard of Eid al-Adha until Yasmina and Amir invited them to the celebration to check it out. We're going to make your first Eid al-Adha the best ever, said Yasmina. Let's rock out, said Amir. They, sa they sang, Amir here and Yasmina the Mashina, rocking the house just like rocking the arena. <laughs> Got my new tie and jacket, sang Amir. Got my best hijab, said Yasmina. Got my suit, Kat said, has a scarf on, sang Peg. I'm no slob, sang Kat. This is actually a cartoon show, too. You can watch the episode. It's on PBS Kids, yeah. Eid al-Adha is really fun, said Yasmina. There are presents and lots of food. But mostly, said Amir, it's about giving to those with less. I like the presents and food, said Kat. But giving stuff away? How is that fun? You'll see, said Amir. Peg drew pictures of plates with food on them to remind Kat what Eid al-Adha is really about. This sign means less, she said. This one means more than. I like the more sign better, said Kat. Amir played his stringed instrument called an oud. Yasmina played her electric guitar. Peg and Kat played ukulele and drums as their hosts sang about the holiday. Eid Mubarak means happy holiday, so we say Eid Mubarak as we celebrate. On Eid al-Adha, even Kat is going to see how awesome giving can be. We'll see if I see, said Kat. It was time to go to the celebration. Every year we bring this silver tray, Yasmina explained, filled with almonds, olives, apricots, and I love apricots, said Peg. Then let's add more, said Yasmina. Are those honey cakes, Kat asked. Should we, Yasmina added, more, said Kat, more, more, more. Do you think Kat likes the honey cakes? Yeah. I think so too. <laughs> you don't? One important tradition, said Amir, is dividing the meat into three equal parts. When you have three equal parts of something, each part is a third, said Peg. We keep one third? We give one third to our neighbors and we give one third to share to, with someone with less. Less what? asked Kat. Well, food or clothes, the basic stuff that everyone needs, said Peg. Amir divided the meatballs into three parts. Um, the three bowls all have different amounts of meat, Amir, said Peg. 
but I put the same number of meatballs in each bowl, said Amir. But the meatballs are different sizes, though. If we don't divide the meat into three equal parts, this won't be the best Eid al-Adha ever. We've got a big problem. Peg noticed Cat playing with a pair of small swinging pans. That's it, she said. The pan balance. Do you guys think you could help them with their problem? It's not a problem. It's not a problem? Why? Why is it not a problem? But there's two, two, and two. So isn't that fair? Why is that not fair? Because this one has tiny meatballs and this one has humongous meatballs? But it's the same amount. But they don't have the same amount of meat in each. But they don't have the same amount of meat in each. Okay. Let's see what they do. Peg put one pair of bowls on the pan balance. This pan goes down because the bowl on it has more meat. It's heavier, she said. But we can take from more and give to less, said Amir, until the pans are the same level, said Yasmina. The meat in the bowls weigh the same. How do we know they weigh the same? What's it showing us? An equal sign. An equal sign. The, uh, Peg replaced one bowl on the balance with the third bowl. Those weigh the same too. They all weigh the same. Problem solved. Eid Mubarak, said Kat. The end. Oh, not, not the end. I wanted to see if you were paying attention. The group headed out for the party, but first they had to drop off a third of the meat to someone with less. We've come to the soup kitchen because the people who eat here have less, said Yasmina. At the soup kitchen, they can each get a good free meal. As the door to the soup kitchen opened, Amir said, it's run by Ramon, said Peg. Kat took the bowl from Kat Peg and handed it to Ramon. We hate to run and eat, but we have a party to go to, he said. Oh, I almost didn't show you guys the picture. It's behind the line. Wait, said Ramon. I really need your help with a really big problem. <laughs> There's a man who lives in that building across the yard. He's always comes here for meals, but today he hasn't come. I wonder if he's sick or if those crates of canned food uh, that were just delivered are blocking his way. Oh no, they have another really big problem. Let's see what they do. Can he order takeout, asked Kat? No, said Peg. Today's about giving. We're going to give. We'll cross the yard with the meatballs. The crates were piled so high, Kat wondered how they would ever get past them. Let's count the crates. Uh, uh, to find the piles with less, said Yasmina. They'll be easier to step over. So what is their solution? What are they going to try and do? Yeah, so they're going to count the crates to see which ones have less to see if those would be easier to step over. They stepped across a pile that had only one crate and another pile of two crates. One is less than six, said Peg, and 10 is more than two, said Kat. But there were even more crates to get past. Yasmina and Amir were totally freaking out. Kat held up his paws. Kat's right, said Peg. You should count backwards till you calm down. We'll count from seven, said Yasmina. We like seven. Seven days of the week, seven colors of the rainbow. What else has seven? What did we learn today? We do seven times. Seven stones for Jamarat. 
Seven times around the Kaaba. Seven times to laugh around the Kaaba. Good. Seven times is seven. Marwa, mashallah. So let's all count down from seven. Can you guys count down with me? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, guys. As they counted, Cat gazed at those juicy meatballs. He was about to take a bite when Peg shouted, That's it! That's it? That's it, you meatball-loving cat. We'll divide the crates in two-thirds, just like we did with the meatballs. That'll be easier to move. Problem solved. So they're going to make the big crates smaller. When Peg knocked on the door, she heard a familiar voice invite them in. Mac, asked Peg, I've had some bad luck, Mac explained. La uh, I usually go to Ramon's soup kitchen for food. Last night I stubbed my toe, and this morning I stubbed another toe. I'm not going any place. You don't have to, said Yasmina. We brought you meatballs. Mac was so hungry that he ate the meatballs quickly. And then for dessert, Amir and Peg offered him olives and apricots. Cat wanted to keep the honey cakes for himself. But he remembered that Eid al-Adha is about giving to those with less. So he took the tray over to Mac. Would you like a honey cake? Asked, Kat asked. I love honey cakes, said Mac. Cat gasped. Hey, giving does feel good. You're all so nice, said Mac. I don't know what to say. I do, said Peg. Eid Mubarak! Eid Mubarak! The end. <laughs> MashaAllah! That was a very nice lesson for Peg and Kat to learn about Eid Al-Adha. What do you guys think? So what did, we what did they teach uh, Peg and Kat? What did they teach them? That um, Eid al-Adha is more special than Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with our meat on Eid al-Adha? How should we do it? How should we divide our meat on Eid al-Adha? So we talk? All day, okay. One, two, three. Bismillah. Good. So we learned in Hajj that we slaughter a sheep or a goat or a camel, right? One of those animals. So now what do we do with the meat? What do we learn from Peg and Cat that we do with the meat? We divide it into three parts. Do we keep all three parts? No. We keep it all? I don't know about that. That would be greedy. What should we do with the three parts that we, that we do? Good. We give one third to our neighbors, one third to those who have less, and then we keep one third for ourselves. Alhamdulillah.